Lane with four three-pointers in the first half, and Shamar Richardson with ten to lead the hour. You know, Frank, Clinton has had three threes in a game 45 times now during his career. That's really an amazing number there. That guy can really shoot the ball. Shooting 45% from three-point distance. He's got some great strokes. That's the best number in the ACC, that three-point percentage. Owls have been very patient in the first half with their offense, and they found some good looks from beyond the arc. Well, Graham with four to shoot, has to fire a three, just raise the front iron into the hands of Dwayne Collins. Much better job, though, of contesting the shot. Hurdle was up in his jersey that time, had a hand up. Well, we heard Frank Ate peeled some paint off the walls on Saturday after the first half performance against North Carolina Central. Not sure what he said of the team tonight. But Clinton misses a three. McGowan can't finish it, but draws a foul. Wow, McGowan point blank range. Set a great screen out on top, and then ran right to the rim. That is team had a good wide open look, went strong, and then put it on the floor. The biggest mistake that a big man will make is to put that little bounce in there. All McGowan's got to do is just go straight up and dunk it. Following Shamar Richardson, his second. And McGowan misses from the line. Cyrus so with three points on the night, came on a first half three pointer, averaging seven and a half to go along with six and a half rebounds. This to Bo, Asbury, called for a rebounding foul. An empty possession for the Hurricanes. Well, that's kind of the way the first half started. They had good opportunities to score early and couldn't get the ball in, and, and you're missing easy shots like that. It's really, a, they work to disadvantage as the game goes along, that's for sure. I'm going to show a little 1 2 2 zone here. Paul Graham, five first half points for the Alex. Graham, out of the corner, a three off the front iron. Again, Collins with the rebound. No one with any size for Ford Atlantic to rebound on their end. Pearl penetrates and now backs it out. Left alone, foot on the line, and he drills it in front of him. Lance and uh, there was no coverage that time, and he nails the jumper. Lance Hurdle scoreless in the first half, as he was Saturday against North Carolina Central, but came back with a big second half for the Hurricanes. And as I mentioned Saturday, we with us. I think Hurdle's a big key to whatever damage Miami can do this season. Air ball under the corner by Shamar Richardson. The Owls have missed their first three shots here in the second half. Wayne Collins looking for the high-low, instead fires from 18. Asbury with a rebound. Asbury on a kick to the hoop and finish. Great effort by Asbury. Chased down the loose ball rebound, put it on the floor, took it right to the rim. Had some purpose in that possession. Not sure Frank Hape liked the 18-footer from Collins, but Asbury with the offensive rebound. It's so, it's so tempting, Frank. You know, they're leaving the guys wide open. They're playing the guy with an eight feet of taller, and he said, well, I might as well shoot it, but that's not his shot. Graham. I'm in that zone right now. We want you on the baseline. He fires with three on the shot clock, and Cardero Nawaji is fifth three-pointer of the night. Oh, and Asbury with his hands down to his side, and Instead of going out there with a hand up, I thought the first two possessions were going more effort defensively. That time they just let it happen at the shot. And a foul call that'll go against Alex Tucker of the Owls. Coach Jar was talking about the Hawaii. Not what a great work ethic he has. And sure you saw Asbury with his hands down, finally got it up once the ball was released. But here's what I don't understand. The Hawaii's done nothing but take threes. Why back off right. They can put it on the floor if you're the hurricane. That's the point. There's absolutely uh, no recognition of his ability uh, by Edgar. Big mismatch inside McGowan against Tucker. McGowan takes it to the rim, blocked by Watson. Tucker the other way, four on one. Lob pass, Watson finishes. Wow, great transition basket. The block on one end converts to a transition basket on the other. Florida Atlantic. Uh, with a couple of fast break baskets here in this game, Miami is yet to get a transition basket. There's Asbury with the tip in at the hurdle miss and gets Miami's lead back up to six. We talked about the advantage Miami has on their inside, with their inside guys, and uh, 
They've got to do a better job of getting the ball inside and giving their guys a chance to score. Now let's talk about Graham Richardson. You're watching. I would not back off this guy. I would make him try to beat you off the dribble. Richardson with a long three as the shot clock was winding down. Curl the other way. Four on two. Kicks it back out to McClinton. And he'll reset. McGowan from outside the arc. McGowan crashing the boards. Takes it up strong. Counter down the line. Now that's what you're looking for. A great effort. McGowan goes strong to rebound the basketball and finishes it off. The foul goes on Cordero Nawaji as Cyrus McGowan with a strong finish and he'll get a chance to complete a three-point play when we come back. <laughs> 